One of the more difficult management decisions for sugarcane aphid is late in the season, particularly right before harvest. What do you do if you have aphids that are still present at that time or maybe come in late? It's really not going to affect your yield, but it could affect the harvestability of that, of that crop. So what do you do? Well, a couple of things. One, you could try using a, a herbicide desiccant like your glyphosate or sodium chlorate or spray it with an insecticide. The two herbicides that are typically used uh, as a desiccant are glyphosate and sodium chlorate. Glyphosate, the issue with it, it's fairly slow acting. It takes it a while to kill that plant. Once it kills the plant, aphids are going to go away, but it takes usually several days for that to happen. Well, it's very important once that plant is dead from the, from the glyphosate that you get it harvested very soon, otherwise you start running into a lodging issue. So you can really run into a timing uh, problem with, with glyphosate. Sodium chlorate, on the other hand, is very quick. It'll desiccate the leaves and, uh, and that'll drive the, the sugarcane aphids either off the plant completely or what you don't want to happen is drive them up into the head. So that's something to think about if, you, if you're using sodium chlorate. And we have seen that with some research is it yes does a good job in just three or four days, dries up the leaves, the upper leaves, but then the sugarcane aphid moves into the head. The last option, and really is the best option, is to use, a, use an insecticide. And either Transform or Savanto Prime can be used for that purpose. We do recommend though a lower rate. With Transform, the lowest rate that's labeled is three quarters of an ounce, and that should do a good job of at least knocking back those aphids to, to increase your harvestability of that crop. Savanto Prime, the labeled rate is four ounces, but we have seen good good results late in the season with a lower rate and typically what we've looked at there is two and a half ounces has done a good job. But I do want to point out that the labeled rate of that particular product is four ounces. Also I should point out that both Transform and Savanto, the pre-harvest interval on those is 14 days. Now a third product that we've had some success with is Malathion. It's a fairly inexpensive product and what we've seen with that particular insecticide you'll get about 50 percent control. But that control doesn't last very long, so the aphids are going to come back you know, pretty quick after that application. And the research has been a little inconsistent with that product, but it is one you can consider.